if we try to put some numbers on it, is it a right? Because I mean, I, we we uh, I told you there are some uh, you know, evolution of the of the industry, but what are, are we talking real numbers? So this is I will show you only one table, and this is a table coming from the uh, USDA, so the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and uh, thinking about what will be the penetration of a bio-based product in, in the chemical industry with the four different subsectors in the chemical industry with a, uh, you know, commodity chemicals, specialty chemicals, fine and polymers. So uh, I, I will not bother you with, uh, with the hypothesis they took, but basically what they said is today this is a market of 150 million uh, billion, billion dollars, and in 15 years from now this will be uh, more than 500. This is a market which is a $200 billion opportunity by 2025. That's big enough for you. That's big enough for us. But as usual, I usually in, in, in technology, be careful at hypes and downs. And so you probably know this uh, very well-known uh, uh, Gartner group uh, the, you know, type of uh, you know, understanding the technologies. Uh, they, we all know that any kind of technology will start by uh, uh, early, uh, early adopters and, and we go to a peak, which will obviously very much inflated and nothing to do with the reality, the, 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 the way they, would, they should be positioned uh, on the market. And this is the bubble. This is the internet bubble, this is the genomic bubble, this is the, 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 the bubble, the, the concept of bubble that p many people have been, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, criticis criticizing, we, I think, and we think our, as investors, is something which is inherent to the technology in the investment. You could not con consider a technology an innovation investment if you are not taking into account the fact that every hype technology will go through a bubble, uh, a, a, a bubble uh, some, sometime we go through a bubble uh, concept. And with the bubble comes a disillusionment, and then go the slope on alignment. So if you try to position the technologies in a clean tech on this Gartner group, that's what it gives. And what I've been telling you is, I'm here. Green chemistry is here. So you have to be extremely cautious, because uh, otherwise, uh, the last thing you want is to go to the, to, to, uh, to, 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 to the top and lose all your investment in, 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 in a bubble. If you are smart enough, you exit <laughs> over there, but uh, what you have, want to, uh, to avoid is this type of uh, toboggan. So you have, you have to pay very much attention uh, to that. And there are still a lot of challenges in that field. This is, uh, on the contrary of what's happening in, in, in biotech for healthcare, we are in a substitution play. We are in a substitution play. We are not trying to find new molecules. I mean, the, if you go to Bayer, if you go to uh, uh, Rodia, if you go to DuPont, if you go to uh, these big guys, and if you, if you tell them, well, I have a completely new molecule which is do doing uh, some uh, very nice, uh, nice things, uh, they will ask you to, to leave. I mean, they are not interesting. They are interesting to find new solution, new way to produce their molecule, but their molecule. We are in a substitution play, and IP is a challenge in a substitution play. Will you have strong IP in that field? In, again, another challenge is, is specifically dedicated to, bio, to biotech. Biotech has been invented for healthcare. To, to find uh, monoclonal, monoclonal antibodies, to find uh, recombinant proteins for, you know, to, 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 uh, to, to save lives, to become uh, uh, drugs. But when, they, when the scientists were looking at these new innovations, they didn't care at all about COX, at all. I mean, when you go to Amgen, which is one of the leaders in the US, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in recombinant uh, proteins, in, uh, they, they have technologies which are very rough technologies, immature technologies. They don't care about, uh, about um, uh, optimization of, of their cogs, of their cost of production. Whereas here, for the first time, we are using this new type, new technology, which is biotechnology, and we need to care about uh, COGS, because this is all about margin. 
we are talking margin. In the, in, 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 in the healthcare, uh, they have a 95% margin, they don't care if this is 95 or 96 or 94. Here, we, we care. So COGS is absolutely, and, 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 and optimization is absolutely uh, key, and this will, uh, we will need new type of, of skillness in, in, in the biotech field. Last but not least, I told you that this is a good opportunity for you know, uh, uh, selling companies for strategic value. That's right. But are the buyers ready to do so? <laughs> and uh, this is a cultural shift. Is buyer, is Rodia ready to buy a company for 200 million bucks for a technology which is just entering in the commercial chain? I'm not sure. This is one of the big challenges. And that's where also the VC have a role. Because we know that innovation has to go through that route. And VCs play a very important role in you know, bringing them to this reality that we, they have to consider a new type of business model themselves. Is it a way to... So this is a slide uh, I will go very rapidly. Uh, we, we are, you understood that I am convinced that uh, we should invest in, in, in that field, and, uh, and I am uh, uh, adamant to that, and up to the point that we decided to, uh, to, to, to raise the, uh, a seed fund. So we are in a process, to, it's almost done, uh, to, to raise a seed fund with corporate money, with corporate money, with, 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 uh, with money coming from the, uh, exclusively, from, uh, from the uh, in industrial, uh, from the chemical industry. And this will be dedicated to the, to, to, to the field I've been advocated for. So we did one investment in that field already, a company called BioEmber. Uh, BioEmber is, uh, is a succinic acid um, uh, producer. So they have also announced that uh, they will go for adipic acid. So I mean, taking a C4 and C6 molecules in the in the big uh, uh, you know universe of uh, chemical uh, in the, uh, with chemical uh, molecules, and uh, and uh, this is a spin-off. So I told you that we like the spin-off. So this is a spin-off from a biotech uh, U.S. biotech company, and uh, what we like in that company, uh, alongside the fact that uh, the <laughs> The, the, the management is uh, for us exceptional, and I will not come back on what uh, Gina said. This is one of the key elements in our, in our business, which is uh, 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 investing on people. By the way, uh, she didn't say something uh, on people. One trick is repeat entrepreneurs. And because there are not repeat entrepreneurs in that field, which is very new, you have to go and take repeat entrepreneurs from other fields. And as an example, Jean-François Huck, which is the CEO of this company, has, been, has, uh, uh, has had a long career, first in the pharma industry, then to become a CEO of two biotech companies in Canada. He's, he's a fantastic entrepreneur, but he's bringing his experience from other fields to the clean tech, to, here in that case, to the green chemistry field. And repeat entrepreneur is one of the key success of the Silicon Valley. So, uh, Gina alluded to that as well. I mean, we have a different environment. We have a different ecosystem. So, but if you look at the Silicon Valley over the last uh, 30, 40 years, one key element of the success are the appearance of the key uh, repeat entrepreneurs. The repeat entrepreneurs is a way to build confidence with investors. They know all investors as we know them. So this is kind of, how oh, do you want to, to take this company? Yeah, yeah, bop, bop, 20 million. That's very surprising. So coming back to, uh, to, to, to BioEmber, what we like is the fact that this company is a platform technology company. So, and this, uh, this is related to what Gina said as well. We need to build a new type of business model. But for me, it's not a new business model. Partnership with big corporation, building confidence between small startup and big corporation is absolutely key in, in that field. Uh, this was, uh, I was alluding to my slide, and, uh, and uh, so the, plat the concept of, 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 yeah, of, of platform technology is, uh, is absolutely key. So, and if you look at their website, they have already built a partnership with Mitsubishi, a partnership with Mitsui, a partnership with DuPont, with a partnership with, uh, with Cargill. For several of the bubble uh, uh, on the side. So that's what we did. And never forget, when you talk to an uh, investor, he has a specific attrition rate. Specific attrition rate is 99%. 99% of what we see, we say no. 
We are, we are the specialists of saying no in a very polite way. But, but we invest in one person. We received, we received every way, every year we received 2,000 uh, opportunities and we invest in 15 to 20. Two, that's one person. And never forget as well. We invest, and that was a report of, from a bank on uh, European Biotech 2006, but I like this, the, the picture. We, we do not invest to, 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 uh, to, uh, to make a company public because you need first to be extremely lucky to get the, your company public because you need to, get a very, at a, to come at a very specific point, at time, at a very specific place to make sure that the, that the market will accept your story. This is very rare. This is one company out of what? 10, 20? So you, we invest. If you could convince us that your technology will be key to big buyers, to big buyers. And if you are lucky, together we will go public and be a big company. But if you are lucky, that's it. Thank you very much.